Before we get started with this video, spoiler warning for the Demon Slayer anime and manga. I'm not sure what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say that just in case. Also, excuse the like bland ass background and the fact that I'm in my bed right now. You know, it's like 12 in the morning after 12 and I don't feel like setting up anything. And it's like, I can't anyways, cause like I'm in the middle of moving. So everything's like off the walls. Anyway, what the hell? Where's the crow? You're gonna put the sparrow, but you ain't gonna put a crow. God damn it. Why is this so hard? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 16, 15, 16. There's 62 characters there. Can I install an ad blocker? Cause this is annoying as hell. Absolutely hate you. All right, hello everyone. It's Robin back again with a Demon Slayer tier list because Demon Slayer is my number one anime and I wanted to do a tier list for all these characters. I may have forgotten a lot of them, even though I've literally just reread the manga. Manga spoilers, possibly. Yeah, I might talk about some stuff with the manga, but I'm not entirely sure. It depends. But yeah, we can go ahead and get started because I don't have any other reason to postpone this. So we have 62 characters in all here. I don't know if it's all of them, but I'm working with a template because I don't want to make my own. All right, so we're just going to start with the first ones. So Mitsuri. You're amazing. I, I do. I love her a lot. Bonnie, you're cool. You're cool. I mean, he's an asshole in the beginning, I feel like, but it gets better, okay? He's pretty He's pretty cool. I love um, Haganazuka. Not Haganazuka. Oh my god. I just messed that up. <laughs> Himejima. Sorry, I, I get him mixed up because he was also one of the harder names to pronounce because because I read the manga, I had to learn how to pronounce it on my own, so that was hard. Okay, uh, I you're amazing. I love him. The Sparrow, I mean, you're cool, I guess. I'm kind of neutral, because I don't really care about the bird too much. <laughs> like, you know, not, not a big deal to me. This demon right here, this mother I absolutely hate you. I hate him. I hate him. And psychopathic mother okay the spider mom in the spider family that's also that's in the anime obviously um in the mountain arc or whatever they call it spider mountain i like her backstory we're gonna go neutral she didn't deserve you know what she got so it's not like i love her but i don't hate her i like her i mean she was put through domestic violence and yeah we're just gonna leave it at that. Hagen Azuka, you're going all the way at all time faves. I love him. Doesn't even, it doesn't even give a whole lot of backstory on his life. A little bit in the Swordsman of Village Arc, but mainly that's it. And then he's got his personality, but I still love him. And if you've seen the face reveal in the manga, you know why I love him, you know? Um, I believe that's Yorichi, all time fave. I love him. He's so sweet. I love him, okay? We got Muzan, I absolutely hate you. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Uh, Kanao, I like Kanao. I hope I'm, am I saying that name right? I forgot. <laughs> okay, um, I do, I love her. You're amazing. Uh, let's see, this girl, she's also amazing. I like her. Akasa's backstory is so sad but I really like her, you know. So sad, okay. This guy right here, I mean, we're just gonna put not a fan. I realize his backstory. It's not one of the greatest backstories I've seen, but you know, Tengen, uh, you're amazing, I love you. Um, This guy, I don't even know who he is, so we're just gonna put not a fan. Ginya, you're amazing. I love you. This mother right here, I absolutely hate him. I hate him. He's such an asshole. I hate what he did. Oh my god. Please. Upper one, honestly, I kind of have a gist of the backstory with Yorichi and him, but I don't remember every single detail. I know that the creator of 
Demon Slayer actually went into a lot more detail like he because he couldn't fit all everything like in frames and then like in the actual comic and stuff um he actually wrote like a small like he wrote like a couple of pages of more details just like a novel or whatever like just to give more details and stuff if you were interested i read all of it and still forgot it but uh, I think uh, he was kind of jealous of his brother, which is Yorichi, and he just went about it the wrong way. So we're gonna say you're cool. I wouldn't say he's amazing or anything, but I do like him, you know? But, you know, whatever. I might change it in a second later, whatever. This girl, I'm just gonna say not a fan because I don't really remember her. Also not a fan. Shinobu, you're cool. Uh, Muichiro, he's an ass in the beginning, but he's amazing. I do love him. Um, the girls, uh, you're cool. They're cute. They're not cool, but they're cute, you know? Um, I don't know who this guy is because I forgot. Some demon, I think he is the one with the arrow. Is he the one? No, he's not the one with the arrow. He's some other... Ah, oh, come on, I remember this. I don't remember, god damn it, okay? But most of the demons I'm not a fan of. Except the ones with the really good backstories, okay? I don't really know who this guy is, so I'm gonna say not a fan. I know who the arrow guy is, not a fan. Urokodaki, I think that's his name. You're cool, I like you. Gyotaro, I was actually not a fan of Gyotaro and Daki's backstory. I don't really know why, I just didn't vibe with it. Like I understand it very well and I can empathize or whatever with the stuff going on. But you know, I still wasn't a huge fan. Uh, not a fan of you, I don't absolutely hate you, but I'm definitely not a fan. What he did to Tanjiro was up though, I hated that scene. Sabito, you're amazing, I love you so much. Uh, is that the kid from the Swordsmith Village arc? Um, you're cool i suppose he does save movie too i think which is cool uh the spider dude i absolutely hate you he's disgusting i don't like him he's weird he grosses me out also his little minions remind me of that one scene or that that like spider baby in toy story it creeps me out oh my god inosuke obviously all-time faves come on <laughs> Sanemi, you're amazing. He's an hole in the beginning, but you know. So Shinobu's sister, you're amazing because she's she's so, see she's a nice character. It's just the way she died was like she didn't deserve that. She wasn't such a nice girl. Okay, Akaza, I'm very conflicted about Akaza because. I hate him, but I also don't because his backstory was one of the most tragic in my opinion, or at least emotional for me, like I cried. God damn it, I'm gonna say neutral because I hate him, but I also don't. We got this guy, I absolutely hate him. I hated that part with the sounds of his teeth grinding, that was disgusting. Um, I forgot his name, but Zenetsu's trainer he's he's cool he's good some happens i cannot believe that happened so at first i remember that demon guy that bullied zanetsu and turned into a demon for power he also trained under this guy this uh former hashira and i don't remember what it, uh, what the hashira's name was but at first before i reread the manga because i first read it back in 2019 and because that was a long time ago I kind of misremembered a lot of events including this one because I thought that demon kid killed like directly killed the former Hashira that he trained under but turns out the former Hashira killed himself because that guy became a demon that kid became a demon so he killed himself because he felt like he wasn't worthy and he couldn't believe he trained someone into becoming a demon and Zenitsu got so pissed off and defeated the kid that turned into a demon 
that sh was insane. I can't believe he committed suicide, man. Oh my God, that's so, f anyway, you, you're amazing. Now, people are wondering why he isn't in my all-time faves. I just think he's amazing, you know, but he's not like my all-time faves. Like, I love him. I love his character and personality. I mean, still amazing. I still love him. Um, this girl, she's cool. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Okay, you're cool. Yeah. The spider girl, just, I'm not a fan. I mean, or actually, you know what? I'll put her under myth because the way she was turned into a demon, you know, like backstory stuff does have a part in what characters I love most. Nezuko, you're amazing. I love you. You are so resilient you're so strong just like tanjiro is rengoku's brother you're amazing i love you rengoku's brother cute. i forgot his name oh my gosh i'm so sorry tanjiro's obviously on my all-time faves come on rengoku all-time faves i literally love him to death Zenetsu, all-time faves i actually love him so much despite the fact that he's kind of annoying sometimes Kind of might be an understatement, but I don't care. Um, this girl, she's cool. I like her. Uh, Uyashiki, I think that's his name. Or that's the family name. I forget his first name. You're amazing. He's amazing. He's so strong-willed, you know? Okay, one of the one of Tengen's wives. I forget all of their names specifically. Uh, they're cool. Um, Doma. No, no, I absolutely hate him. He didn't have a super tragic backstory, I don't think. He's just a really oh, Like, I hate him so much. He did so many up things, like it all connects to so many people. He turned Yutaro and Daki into demons. He, so Inosuke's mother went to, it, it, this is Inosuke's backstory, right? Inosuke's mother went to him because uh, he's this like religious symbol. Ever since he was a kid, he was like, oh my gosh, uh, you're this almighty great force or whatever. Cause I guess he looked different or like he looked like a God or some kind of like higher power or something. So people started associating him with that. So he just started acting like it. Well, anyways, Inosuke's mom came to him as like a religious thing like to pray and to ask for advice and stuff because she was experiencing domestic violence her husband or inosuke's dad was beating her i don't know if he was beating him he may have been but that's some and then guess what he killed her and that's how inosuke ended up in the woods completely alone and had to grow up in the wilderness because he, he actually fell off of a cliff into, I don't know if it was into water, but somehow he survived. And his mother had to throw him to save him. So yeah, that's Inosuke. He also killed Shinobu's sister and killed Shinobu towards the end. <laughs> but Kano and Inosuke defeated him, which is great. I'm pretty sure he's done some other fucked up shit that I've forgotten. Um, I swear to God, who's that? Oh, that's totally one of Tenken's wives, so we'll say you're cool. Um, Doki, not a fan, just like Yutaro. I mean, she's kind of worse, though, because she's so whiny. Like, it's kind of really annoying, but, you know, whatever. I might change it, don't know. This guy, he's, I don't like him. I, I hate him, honestly. Also, this guy, he's creepy i'm sorry what the hell uh this guy i hate him killed sabito and a lot of other people this guy he's the one who splits into separate demons of emotions i don't like him he almost killed a lot of people you know and i don't like this dude either i absolutely hate some of these demons murata murata i think that's his name I, he's one of my all-time faves. He's a great comedy relief character. Yes. Um, that's another one of Tengen's wives. Cool. Um, what's her name? 
she's the demon doctor or whatever she's actually amazing because she cured nezuko you know she helped cure nezuko this demon i'm kind of neutral about like sorry i mean neutral i mean they don't really do much wrong i mean they create that place that but they're just a servant right i forgot their name but they create that crazy dimension where uh kazuki meetings are held okay the, uh forgot his name let's not forget everybody's name he's cool this guy you know um just kind of meh about not super thrilled him he's amazing he did a lot of great stuff in the manga so this is my full tier list my all-time faves my you're so amazing you're cool my neutral meh not a fan and i absolutely hate you so let's go and review this so that i am 100 percent sure about this so we have Haganazuka, Yorichi, Inosuke, Tanjiro, Rengoku, Zenetsu, or Zenitsu, I've been pronouncing it wrong, um, and Murata, they're my all-time faves. I love them all. You're so amazing. So we got Mitsuri, Himajima, Kanao, I forgot this girl's name. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but I love her. Tengen, Genya, I really love Genya and Sinemi. Muichiro, Sabito, Senemi, Shinobu's sister, because I can't remember every single goddamn name. <laughs> Giyu, Nezuko, uh, Rinkoku's brother, or Kyojuro's brother, because that's technically his first name. Ubuyashiki, I know that's his last name or his family name, but I, I, I love him. The doctor girl, demon, I forgot her name, I'm so sorry. And then this is uh ubuyashiki's kid and becomes the master after yuba yuba ubuyashiki like self-destructs uh to try to kill muzan or to take place in his defeat the your cool section we have obani iguru i believe that's his name kakushibo i don't know if that's his real name or not if it's his demon name to be honest i forgot because i forget a lot of things you know we got shinobu we got three butterfly mansion girls we got Kadaki. We have a kid from the Swordsmith Village arc because yeah, he's cool, you know, he saves some people. We got Zenitsu's trainer or former Hashira. We got the girl that was, oh yeah, I forgot that demon also killed her as well. That like really big demon that uh, Tanjiro fought in the, the final exam thing. We got this girl, uh, also from the Butterfly Mansion. I love her, she's cool. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting all these names. We got Tingen's wives, they're cool. And we got the Demon Doctor's little um, servant, not servant, but she um, saved him from an illness that he was dying from by turning him into a demon. He's cool though, he's a cool character. Sometimes cool, but more like a Sundari, you know? We got Zenetsu Sparrow in neutral, uh, also the spider mother, because just because her backstory, like, it doesn't have a lot of detail, but you know, she goes through domestic violence and stuff, and that's pretty up, and her death was actually really pretty, but also up at the same time. Crazy. We have Akaza in the neutral section. We may change that. And then we have the demon who creates the dimension for the Kazuki meetings. Muzan servant. <laughs> Akaza. I still hate him for killing Rengoku. So I'm still gonna keep him in neutral. Then we have the mess section. We have the girl from... Actually, we're gonna put her in neutral because I don't exactly hate her because of the way... Her, her backstory, basically. But I don't love her either, so we'll keep her in neutral. Then we have one of the cleaner dudes. I forget what they're called. Please forgive me. We have him in meh because meh. We have not a fan. We have the demon from the one of the very beginning parts with the small mansion. I say mansion, but I think they called it a mansion, but it was like this larger house but small mansion if that makes any sense um that like twisted and turned the one with the uh drums i forget what they're called i say not a fan because i mean his backstory was meh we have a couple of the demons 
from the Kazuki uh, meetings and like they're the lower Kazuki, I believe. Some of them are, some of them aren't, I think. But I'm not really a big fan of them because they didn't really play an important part. I mean, some of them were important. Some of these were not really important at all. Of course, we have Yutaro and Daki, which again, I mentioned that I'm not like a huge fan of their backstory. Their dynamic is pretty interesting, especially when Tanjiro compares them to him and Nezuko, which is crazy and very foreshadowing, you know? And the absolutely hate you section is the Mugen Train demon. I hate him. He put so many people through suffering. Not okay. I think he's a psychopath. <laughs> we got moves on for obvious reasons. We have the demon kid who uh, bullied Zenitsu and made their trainer commit suicide. That's really f up. Then we have one of the spider kids from that spider family or whatever. He's gross and weird. I, I still hate him so much. Gross, disgusting, gives me chills. The teeth grinding demon, Doma, he did some stuff. I hate him hate him so much. We have that kid. Oh wait, no. I might actually might change my answer for him because I'm starting to remember his backstory now. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'll have him neutral. I'm so sorry. He's kind of like Akasa. He had a pretty tragic backstory um because his parents like kind of like, he was sick I think. So is Muzan, in fact, but because Muzan is actually a descendant of a Uyashiki family. He was also sick, but he was turned into a demon somehow. I don't know how. Forget. I think some researcher was doing some stuff and it went terribly wrong. Um, I forget how the whole story goes, but I'm remembering Ryuk's. Ryuk's. Oh my gosh, not Ry um, Ryu's backstory a little bit more. Yeah, he's like ill and. Then he becomes a demon and his uh, parents try to kill him because they became a demon and they like, they can't deal with it, but they were going to take themselves with him. But he killed his parents before he had the chance to realize that they weren't going to kill themselves too, that they actually cared a lot. Okay, and then we have the spider dad, <laughs> spider dad. Spider pig, spider pig, do whatever a spider pig does. Okay, anyway, we have the spider dad. He's just horrible. <laughs> he's abusive and he looks disgusting and he almost kills a nosuke and it's <laughs> Um, Of course we have this weird creepy arm big demon who's killed a lot of people and killed Sabito and the girl who was with him, who was also friends with uh, Giyu, and he has like the, you know. And then we have the demon who splits up into the emotion, he's like the different emotions or whatever, in the Swordsman Village arc, which we're about to see. Uh, I don't like him, there's no reason for me to like him. Then we have the um, water demon in the vase, or vase, whatever you, however you like to pronounce it. I didn't really like him either, there was no reason for me to like him either. He's also in the Swords of the Village arc, so we're going to see him soon. But yeah, I think that is my complete list. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. I want to hear. Do I have some unpopular opinions? Or am I basic? Okay, well, let me know in the comments what you think. But that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did enjoy figuring out who I love and hate in this series. Favorite series. I've, I've watched a lot of good series, not like a whole lot. I still have a lot to go, but this is just one of my personal favorites. And yeah, I just, I love the series a lot. So yeah, please, once again, let me know what you think about my rankings in the comments. If I have any unpopular opinions, I haven't really seen many other people do this. I'm sure plenty of other people have done this sort of thing if I looked it up on YouTube, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Please let me know if you have any recommendations for other kind of videos you want to see. Bye!